Charlize Theron, stunning single and commanding a reported $10 million a movie. Tonight, E.T. counts down the top 10 independent women in Hollywood. First up at number 10, Cagney herself, Sharon Gless. With a career spanning over 35 years in the business, Gless spearheaded that strong woman of confidence on television in Cagney and Lacey. It did change women's lives in the history of television for women. Now she's back on the new show Burn Notice on the USA Network, tougher than ever. Things have gone to hell since you left. Thank God you're back. I'm not back. You're here for the holidays, though. Number nine, lovely Latina Penelope Cruz, who after some high-profile Hollywood romances is now her own woman. She's also an Oscar nominee and reportedly earns more than $2 million of film. Penelope Cruz is another clear example of someone who obviously doesn't have to depend on a man. She can go about her career and the rest of her life without having a husband. She's number eight on our list, but her lucky number is 13, as in Ocean's 13. Beautiful and newly single 53-year-old Ellen Barkin, who held her own against gorgeous George and the boys. I need to go to sleep, though, at night. That's the and They problem. don't sleep? Well, you know, first of all, they're boys, so they get up and they're dressed in 10 minutes, and I'm not. And lucky seven for Halle Berry, who's got an Oscar, an Emmy, and a Golden Globe. Halle Berry's been in a couple of pretty tumultuous relationships with uh, Eric Benet and David Justice. She's bounced back from that. At six, everybody loves Patty. Patricia Heaton was mega successful as Ray Romano's on-screen wife. Now she's playing alongside Kelsey Grammer in the new fall TV show, Back to You. But the star is also known for speaking her mind, and that's why we love Patty. Fabulous Five is stunning Charlize, who also has an Oscar under her designer belt. I think a lot of women loved the fact that when she won the Oscar for Best Actress for Monster, that she played a character who was actually relatively unattractive. Number four is Dreamy, dream girl Beyonce, who's more than just a pretty voice. She started with a group, Destiny's Child, moved on to a solo career in music, and then with her mother also started a clothing line that's very successful called House of Darion. Now for the big three. Reese Witherspoon, last year's Oscar winner, who's now split from hubby Ryan Phillippe, is one of the most sought after women in Hollywood. At number two, Dazzling Diaz, that's Cameron to you, or Princess Fiona in the super successful Shrek movies. Behind every great man, every is a great woman, so. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So maybe Fiona for president. Yeah, exactly. And who tops the list who's the most independent woman in Hollywood? Still friendly Jennifer Aniston, of course. With Jennifer Aniston, I think everybody loves a comeback. Despite her issues with Brad Pitt and then with Vince Vaughn, her career goes on. Good things can happen. We can make great things happen in this world. 